Um, so I'm a little shaken up right now. We're driving home from um, Arkansas and we got hit. Um, someone pulled up in front of us and hit us. Uh, side swiped us or I don't, I don't know. I'm a really, adrenaline's happening right now. Uh, we called 911. It looks like nobody's seriously hurt. It's just me, Ryan and Ranger. We're kind of shaken up. Um, Ryan thinks the truck is totaled. So we'll Mandy. keep you updated. I mean, he's definitely totaled. I mean, he seems to be acting okay. This guy was, we were coming southbound, straight southbound this way, or trying to pass this street. And I guess this guy, he was not turned this way. He was turned the opposite. He's turning the way this van is, northbound. And he turned towards this street right in front of us and hit us and flipped. I got, or he, he, flipped around completely. He was not that direction. And we landed in that field there. So, Rangers, both Ranger and Ryan are in protective mode right now. You got a little scrape on your Yeah. Ranger, hey, you're fine, buddy. I know, everything is fine. It's been about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes since it happened. We're okay. As you can see, Ranger's adrenaline is dropping. Uh, he was barking at anybody who would come near us. He got bounced around a bit. Um, we're okay though. Um, the guy, I guess he, he refused um, medical help. Um, he's pretty old though. Um, yeah, they're walking him. I don't know if you can see. Where am I pointing? Over here. They're walking him. Um, we're about 30 minutes from home, so that's a blessing. And we weren't towing. We were not pulling the RV, thank the Lord. So it's just the truck. Settle, settle. You're fine, you're fine. The tow guy said that I can get my keys from him once we meet him at his, at the tow yard. And that's when we'll get all the stuff out of the truck. Um, the, uh, the, the state trooper said he can give us a ride to the Livingston Walmart or wherever we wanted to go in Livingston pretty much. Okay. I'm gonna go let, let the officer know. Gotcha. Okay, thanks. I'm just trying to keep it together till we get home. <laughs> Honestly, I'm running on adrenaline right now. He goes, do you mind trying to pull it around so I can get a better shot at it? I was like, I was said, ah, I mean, I'll give it a shot. I don't know. And I'm pretty sure I heard him go, that's Dodge. You can make it. Aww. No, it'll be fine. They're both It'll Dodge, aren't they? They're both Rams. Three quarter ton, half ton. Dang. Buy big trucks. They save lives. So that's what we've learned from this situation. Big trucks. Big trucks save lives. <laughs> save lives. Big trucks matter. <laughs> Appreciate it. What's he doing? Uh, he's gonna drop the gray one off. Then he's gonna put ours I, either in, just inside the gate or just outside the gate, and we can wait with it until our ride gets here. Okay. So. Gotcha. Either they will replace or or they'll replace everything. Everything or. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get taken care of with that. Yeah. God, God's got us and State Farm's got us, so. State Farm! And everyone was so nice. Like, people, like, on the road stopped. Yeah. Like, this, Some yeah. random mountain man looking dude in a camo shirt stood out there camo. and directed traffic for, like, an hour. Bless his heart. He was still there when we left. <laughs> directing traffic. <laughs> Even the family of the guy that hit us was so nice. Uh... So it helps ease the tension. Here we are back at the, I don't know, is this a junkyard or a body shop? I can't remember. 
yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so they did officially total the truck. Uh, this is this is the rental. <laughs> That's the truck. <laughs> um, so they did total it officially. So now we're here emptying everything out, uh, getting as much as we can out. Um, so here we go. <laughs> Stupid automatic. It literally just, it cracked the tire, oh. the impact. Like that steel belt that just exploded. Oh, that's wired. Yeah, that's the steel belt that's in it. So we got hit from that side, right? Yeah. I had this toolbox bolted down in the center of the bed. Look at how much space is on that side. Look how much space is on this side. Oh, it totally shifted. Yeah. That's a lot of force. We just changed the air filter. This is coming with us. We used to have a running board. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, so we've gotten most everything out except for the toolbox and this radio, which we um, we bought this truck and it came with an aftermarket radio with a screen, really, really awesome. Really nice radio. Yeah, really nice radio screen. So we're gonna do our best. Ryan did some research on how to remove it safely. So we'll see how that goes. No greater love than to lay down a truck to lay down its life for its owner. I'm not ashamed to say that uh, after the logistics of calling 911, getting all of that taken care of um, was over, my reaction was to be very angry. I was angry at the other guy. I was angry at Ryan. He uh, was gonna go over there and make sure the guy was okay. He wanted to let them know that we're okay uh, But if, as far as logistics and insurance in my brain, I was just like don't say anything uh, Get back here. I don't want you to say the wrong thing um, but uh, My dad um, and for the counselor he was able to help me nip that in the butt. It's a natural reaction to be angry uh, but you need to remember uh, that you and Ryan are still a team that you are still one unit and you're in this together. And I think that the world tries to um, isolate and tries to um, split up units like that. And it's important in that crisis to remember not to be angry, not to let the anger split you down the middle, but to let you guys um, remember to stay joined and you're still on the same team, you're experiencing this together and it you'll experience, it. you'll come out of it a better person, better unit, stronger if you remain united. And that's something that I, and, um, I had trouble initially um, and I was able to, um, to come to that realization um, day of. We're so grateful that um, things ended up the way that they were and everyone walked away. Even Ranger who, um, he, he was in the back seat and he, we're, we're so grateful that we had packed all of the luggage 
to the left of side of the car. When we got hit, we all like uh, flung to the left and that's where he hit, but he hit all the bags, so that was his cushion. And that's where we're, why we're thinking that he, he's not, he hasn't um, suffered any, any, any injuries or anything. I'm grateful we weren't towing, first of all. We weren't towing the rig. We decided that uh, we were in Arkansas for a funeral and we're, we were just like, it's just a, such a quick trip. It just does, it makes more sense just to drive, stay with family and, and just drive home. Had we been towing, it would have been a completely different story. Um, we would probably be homeless. Um, so uh, we're so grateful for that. Our story is not over. We're, we're interested to see what's gonna happen. Thank you guys so much for your continued responses and support. Um, comment below if this is something you have experienced before. Um, what, what has it been better or worse? Uh, what, what has it been like for you guys? Um, thanks so much. We constantly appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, your comments. Um, thank you so much and, and keep on rolling. We got a truck! Finally! We went Ford! You happy? Yeah. I you... wish I was driving home tonight, but... Yeah, so they're putting sense. they're putting new tires on it and they're delivering it to us tomorrow. Two hundred miles. Two hundred miles out of the way. They had forgot. They thought, oh, this was another truck. It already had tires, and then they saw how bad the tires were, and said, no, we'll put new tires on. You already bought the truck, no extra cost, and we'll drive it to you. Yeah. So that's exciting. Yay! Ranger, meet your new truck. What's this? Good boy.